Whether you're a graphic designer, an illustrator, or a lettering artist, Kittle is a platform that you should definitely know about. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this poster step-by-step -step using Kittle. Plus, I'll also share some insights into these two additional pieces that I've created with it. Hi, I'm Jimbo and I'm a lettering artist and an illustrator. I've also been a graphic designer for over 10 years. When I work on projects for clients, I love exploring different methods. And Kittle is an amazing tool, not only for creating final designs, as you could probably see, but also for collecting ideas and experimenting with different illustration styles, fonts, and 3D effects. So now if you're a designer, you're like, okay, show me more. But if you're a lettering artist or an illustrator, you might be thinking, how the hell is this relevant for me? <laughs> okay, hear me out. So as a lettering artist, I use Kittle to generate ideas that act as mood boards for my projects. It's like Pinterest, but better. Here, I've played with font compositions and created these three robots using Kittle's AI generator, and I'll be using these as references for my hand-drawn pieces later on. This helps me understand the composition faster and also decide which lettering style will look better after. Now, determine the style of the robot is also important, and it also gives me a good insight into my colors. Now, if you're a designer or just looking to create some graphics easily, Kittle has you covered. It has a a lot of features like real-time text transformation, automatic texture clipping, and a huge library of fonts, like a huge library of fonts. It also offers pre-made illustrations and templates. Plus, there's cool things like an AI image generator, an AI background remover, and a mock-up generator that is pretty cool. It's one of the easiest design platforms to use, making the creative process super, super smooth. So let's get started. Okay, so now open Kittle and go to new project and a new window is gonna appear. Now here you can choose the artboard sizes and you can either do your own sizes or you can also select out of the standard presets that they have. I'm gonna select the big poster and I'm gonna change the DPI into 300 just in case I wanna export it and print it out later on. You're gonna see that the interface is quite easy, but we're gonna start with the left bar to add some text. You can see that all the elements are here for you to choose from. You could use one of these pre-made typographic compositions, but for this exercise, I'll click up here and create a simple headline. Now I'm gonna make the headline bigger. You can either go to text settings here, or also just making it bigger, just like this. Great, so now that we have this, we're gonna change the fun and play a little bit with some of the settings that Kittle offers. You can see that changing fonts is very easy because it's divided depending on the style of the font. So here, for example, we have all the scripts and I'm gonna use the Sunship font. Great, now I'm gonna write love since it's part of this composition that I wanna create today. And before we continue, I'm going to show you the glyphs that you can actually change in all the fonts. Some fonts have more, some fonts have less, obviously. But if you go up here to search, you can search by letter and see the possibilities. Now, let's see, maybe we could try to use this E, for example. But if you want to use glyphs, the easiest way to go is to change the first or the last letter because you cannot go wrong like this. OK, so now that we have this, I'm going to deform this text a little bit. So go to the panel on the right side, the one you were using before, and down here into transformation, I'm going to tap on rise. Now you can retouch this transformation further by hand like I'm doing. Or go back to the right panel and change the curve like this. Now the cool thing about this app is that no matter the transformations that you do, you can always double tap on your text, change whatever you want, and then when you go out, the transformations are going to be automatically applied again. Okay, now let's go to this effects bar. And now here you can see that we have some shading. We have four styles and you can change some options inside each style. And you also have decoration. But so far I'm gonna use this third one and I'm just gonna change the angle and the offset. The offset is gonna be seven and the angle is gonna be minus 70. Good, now that we have this, I'm gonna change the color. So tap right here. And I'm gonna select something that goes in between red and pink, which is my favorite color. Let's see if I find it. Let me go a little bit more pink like this. Okay, cool. Now go here and close the color tab just by tapping here. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of outline width. So I think I'm gonna add around a five. I like that. 
And then you can also play around with decoration. Let's see which one looks better. I'm gonna keep this one. Yeah, definitely. Now let's change the color. The cool thing about Kittle is that it saves all the colors that you used in this document, so it's really easy to go back to your previous color. I'm tapping on that color I had already, and I'm gonna add lightness to it. So I'm gonna go somewhere around here. Now let's go back to settings, and here in text color, I'm gonna change this black color into a light yellow. Let's see how it looks like. So first I'm gonna select the yellow color here i'm gonna go almost to white yeah okay cool so we have the first word now let's go to the second one since i want to keep the same style i'm gonna press option and then i'm gonna drag this word down you can also use the command cv to copy paste or control cv if you're on a windows great so now i'm gonna type life since it's my last word and i'm just gonna drag it down so I have more space for the next words. I'm gonna add some more text. You can just press T on your keyboard and it's gonna show up. And now here I'm gonna put the word rule. And now I'm gonna repeat the same steps as before. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to change the font. I'm gonna use this bouquet. It's a serif style font. Great. And now I'm just going to add some nice effects. So you can also use the direct transformation. I'm going to use, again, the rise transformation. And I'm going to add a little bit of extra spacing between the letters, also known as tracking. And now I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to choose the fourth shading. And I'm going to add a minus 130 degree for my angle. And the offset, I'm going to leave it at 6. Yeah, that looks good. So now I'm going to change the colors. I'm going to go to the stroke color and I'm going to add a yellow. Something, I think something in between yellow and orange is going to look cool. Yeah. And now I'm going to change this gray into this black. And the last thing I'm going to do is to add this first decoration, but I'm going to change the weight and the distance. I think I'm going to add around a 5% distance for the color. I'm going to use the same yellow. And I promise the last thing that I'm going to do is to go back to settings and now change the color of the inside of my letters. I think it's the first one. Yeah. So I'm going to add this yellowish color that we had in the word love before. Okay, now I'm gonna skip this forward because we already know the process of this. I'm just gonna put the word LED in yellow up here and then your down here. One of the panels we still didn't see is the layers panel on the bottom right. So I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna go to background and here I'm gonna change the color of the background. I'm gonna select a dark gray. I can change it later as well because I'm gonna add a texture that is gonna make this background even darker. Now that we have the typography side of things, I'm just going to select the whole thing and make it bigger. Just like that, and then I'm going to center it. Great. Now you can press Command G or Control G to group these things together. And now you can tap here and here, so it aligns vertically and horizontally right in the middle. Now that we have this composition done, I'm going to start adding texture. So I'm going to go here to the left, to the texture panel, and I'm going to add... Well, you can just see what's there. Kittle has a lot of textures to offer, so you can literally just pause this video and scroll because there's so many of them. I think I'm going to go with the grain textures, though, and I'm going to pick one of these grains. Maybe these are too big. Maybe something more refined. I like this one. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the background color again and I'm gonna select even darker background. I like this, cool. Now let's zoom out, let's see how it looks like. I think I'm gonna crop the artboard as well so you see it because I kinda don't like how it's looking with the piece, it's a little bit too long. So I'm just gonna go to the artboard and just crop it just like that. 
Now I'm gonna go and select elements to decorate this a little bit. I'm gonna go to add elements and then here illustrations. I'm gonna make this bigger by tapping on this arrow and I'm gonna type flower. You can do whatever you want here. I thought flowers would look good. You can put uh, flat flowers, you can put florals, you can put whatever you want. Now you won't see it here because it's full screen, but every time that I tap on one of these illustrations, it already goes to my artboard. So if you see something you like, just tap on it and continue scrolling down and tap three, four, five options. So when you leave the menu, it already shows your selection there. Okay, I have my selection done. So I'm gonna leave the menu and now I'm gonna start placing these florals. The first thing that I wanna do is just to put them outside of the artboard. So not everything is in the middle and I'm just gonna start placing them. I'm gonna start with this little flower. I'm gonna put it maybe up here on top of my letter L. Something like that. Now I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna make it smaller. Now right click on your mouse and this menu is gonna appear. You can flip it horizontally. And you can also repeat the same and send to back. So it's on the background. Now I'm gonna place with you this third flower and then I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. But I want to tell you something before I do that. So as I place this one, remember, put it somewhere around here, for example, and then right click and then send to back. Now you can change the colors of your flowers if you go here on the settings menu and you do it the same as with your fonts. Your colors are registered, so you just have to pick whatever you want. The good thing about it is that you can select the same yellows and the same pinks and oranges that you had before, or even keep maybe one of these colors that the flowers offer because for example, that orange looks pretty good. Now you can also change this one. And you can repeat this with all the other illustrations. So I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of a time lapse and I'll see you in a second for the last steps. Now that my flowers are placed, I'm just gonna get a couple circles from the basic shapes menu and I'm gonna put them around here as well. Our design is now ready, so I'm gonna convert this into a mockup. So I'm gonna go up here to the right and here you can just play around with your design and add it to any mockup that you want. In a lot of other design apps, you would have to do a lot of extra steps so this mockup looks good, but here in Kittle, you just have to move it around really and it looks perfect. Now, let's go find a wall, for example, and I'm gonna show you something super cool. As you can see, it adapts perfectly. So as it touches the ground, it cuts and it also goes behind the skater girl. Now, let's find another wall, for example, this one also goes perfectly behind the person. And then there is another one that has a perspective. Let's see if we find it. So let's say, for instance, this one, you see that there is a couple walls here. So just by moving your design is gonna adapt not just the perspective, but also it's gonna change the wall. So we are finally done with this design. You can download all the mockups and use them later for your presentations. Now, let's go to this second design and I wanted to show you a new feature that we still didn't see. Yes, it's AI and I'm super afraid of this and I've been paranoid about AI for the last two years, but I've decided that I'm gonna use it to my convenience and Kittle AI is pretty cool actually. So you can put a prompt in here and choose from the bunch of styles they already have. You can do clip art or vector or any more realistic images, for example, as well. I've also uploaded one of my older designs just to see what happened. Now I'm gonna add a prompt. I'm gonna do a group of berries jumping and having fun with boots, whatever. I don't know, a group of three raspberries. I'm gonna make them into characters. So I'm gonna put a group of three character raspberries jumping. They're cute and they smile. I guess that's okay. Let's see what happens. 
So one of the things that I want to tell you is that as a lettering artist and illustrator, I'm using AI just to see what happens and to get inspiration for my final pieces later. That's why I said in the beginning of the video that if you're a graphic designer, you can use Kittle and you can just present this to a client. But personally, I cannot do that because I just love drawing. So I'm taking the role a little bit of an art director and see what style could look good. So then after I can do everything by myself. Okay, so we have our three characters here. The ones that I generated before were kind of cooler, but now I just want to show you the AI background remover as well. And now you could just place them in here, maybe change the colors of our lettering because they are a little bit less bright. But that's exactly how I did this piece. Now let's go to the third example. So here I've created this retro sign. And as we know, we can add all the shapes directly from here. So if we go there and type retro sign, for example, we're going to get all these shapes that I'm using for the piece. But for compositions like this that have all the 3D parts pointing to the same side because of their perspective, these pre-made shapes are limiting me a little. So I've discovered a font that offers a bunch of geometric glyphs and I'm adding this one, for example, and adding typography effects. But now I can personalize this piece further because I'm treating these little glyphs as part of my illustrative elements. Okay, so there you have it. It was easy, right? Now, you can try Kittle for free and get 25% off all monthly and yearly premium plans using the code JIMBOYT. You can find the link in the description below. I hope you're having an awesome and creative day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.